everyone should have access to clean air and clean water, be able to go to parks where there's no trash, be able to go to the ocean and not have garbage, and be able to breathe. <laughs>When I started EcoBags, there was no research or knowledge of a plastic problem. There was no conversation about producing sustainably. We just wanted to give people an option so they wouldn't have to create as much trash. We wanted to create products that matter and that shift culture. All that in a bag. All that in a bag. There's the filet, there's canvas bags, there's certified organic, there's recycled, there's bread bags, there's things with zippers, things with buttons, <laughs> there's over the shoulder, there's a million variations. I learned how to deal with no a lot. I did a lot of job jobs, I call them. I learned what it was like to be a woman looking for work in New York City. Not great. There was just so much garbage in the street. And what I noticed specifically, it was plastic bags. There were plastic bags in the street, clogging the gutters, stuck in the trees. But I had no alternative to bring my groceries home. And I thought, there's got to be another way. I looked all over the United States for manufacturing, for what I wanted, specifically the string bag, the filet bag. I came up empty. I found out about Earth Day, 1990. I set up a table on 6th Avenue with all of my bags, and we sold out like in four hours. We were, we were selling Hand Over Fist. Working with India has been phenomenal. We found some really amazing, honest, hardworking people who are really invested in their community and the work that they provide for people. Our reusable eco bag was displayed on a table. Oprah walked by and said, well, that's a really good idea. Bring your own bag to the store. You know, why uh, use single use and toss bags? And our sales basically tripled overnight. Phones wouldn't stop ringing. We didn't even have enough inventory. It's March 13th, and we leave the office, and that was it. I came home, and I, I just, I don't, I, I was like in a fog. I, my heart, everything hurt. I'd been through the recession, so I knew that you have to act fast and be very deliberate and just figure it out. But no orders were coming in. So what did we do? So I started working on all the financial pieces and, and ha taking care of that. I think for the first month, I, what was going to happen? We just started hiking a lot. Want to go for a walk? Come on. There. We went out, my dog would look at me like, another walk? <laughs> People are bringing their own bags. 
they're thinking. <laughs> People are thinking. It's not just about the bag. It's about the bag and it's about everything you put in the bag. It's about making thoughtful decisions. What I set out to do, I did. I sparked a conversation and that is my legacy.